The problem with this philosophy though, and I, I, I always want people to know the truth as best we know it at this point, but that is that low intensity doesn't negate biological risk. And this comes back to this safety standard issue. You mentioned some people have said there's no safety standard that can be low enough to protect against biology. I completely agree with that statement. And that is on the basis that when you do biological studies looking for very, very low intensity effects, we always find them. We, we haven't, to my knowledge, found a level, a definite clear level below which there is no biological interaction at all. And in fact, some studies, and there's some work by um, Professor Leif Salford here, he looked at rat brains in response to mobile phone radiation and what he found was that when he dropped the intensity, he got more albumin leakage into the brain, brain of a rat than he did at the higher intensity. And this, was, this is because of, it's demonstrating blood-brain barrier damage, which is another finding in the literature. Mm -hmm. But this was demonstrating something very important, which is that we have intensity windows where a low intensity can have a worse biological outcome than sometimes a higher intensity. There is some scientific sense in this, but I don't think we can go into it today. But what that means is that when you push your phone away, you, you can't consider that completely protective. And again, we're, we're finding our way in the dark. We are at the kind of embryological stages of understand, uh, understanding this new area of science. We're all in this experiment together. We're all in a massive experiment. So I say to people, try and push it away, try and lower your intensity. But at the same time, I say the truth is the science doesn't, can't, you can't call that 100% protective. Thank you.